I've seen a lot of day in the life videos and I'm sure you guys have seen them too because they're quite popular on YouTube. I even have one myself. It's mostly little clips here and there of the day with more emphasis on extracurricular stuff. So today I'll be giving more context as to what I do as a software engineer. In this video, I'll talk about the sub roles within software engineering. I'll also break down the typical tasks and responsibilities of a software engineer and basically what I do on a typical day. Hi there, this is Chi Alia and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about what a software engineer does. If you're seeing me on the screen for the first time, welcome, welcome, subscribe, turn on your post notifications and join the channel. And if you're already part of the channel, thank you for your love and support. So what does a software engineer do? Software engineer as a career has so many sub roles within it. Like you find front end engineers, back end engineers, um, cloud engineers, full stack DevOps, all these fall under the umbrella of software engineering. So, so a front end engineer would typically be focused on building the client side. So they build what users interact with and they focus on aesthetics, user experience, and displaying the data in a way that is consumable for the people using the apps or the websites. Front end engineers are somewhat web developers, unless if they are focused on building specifically for Android or iPhones. And then that's when you see specific roles like Android engineers, iOS engineers, and so on. So now backend engineers, on the other hand, are focused on building services. These services carry out functions that users demand in the front end. So they have endpoints that um, are triggered by events in the front end, um, events like pressing a button. For instance, if you click the like button on YouTube or the subscribe button, what happens is that that triggers a call to an endpoint that then takes your name and adds it to my subscription list. So like, go ahead and just click that like button. If you haven't liked this video, like this video, if you haven't joined the channel yet, subscribe. See what I just did there. Anyway, so that's what the back end engineers do. So now full stack engineers are basically a combination of both front end and back end. Yeah. And I feel like those in full stack, even though they work on different aspects, you'd find that they prefer one to the other, like deep down, they would either be a back end girl or a front end person. So these are the main roles you see. There are also DevOps who focus on continuous integration and delivery and just making sure deployment goes smoother. And then you would find cloud engineers and some of them focus on one cloud service provider. Like you'd find AWS cloud engineers and these job roles are out there. These roles can be very specific and it's up to the engineer to find where their strength lies and just go with that. Now, the way things are done in a typical dev team and yeah, I say typical because I'm speaking from my experience and that of my friends, but obviously there'll be variations uh, and everyone, every dev team would have the way they basically handle tasks and ship features. So in a dev team, while the devs actually write the code, there's always at least one product manager. And this product manager is kind of in charge of development of the team's product and adding new features. For instance, say a product manager of a social media app, right? They want to create a feature where say a user will get an alert if someone they don't follow creeps into their page. So <laughs> I'm just laughing because if this happens on Instagram, <laughs> so basically um, say they want this feature now. Yeah. So what happens is that the product manager takes that idea to their designer who comes up with a mock-up of how things will look like. And for instance, there might be 
a toggle button to turn privacy on and off. The designer might decide, oh, okay, maybe let's try doing an alert box to be more specific with the alerts. These mock-ups will go back to the dev team with an explanation of how the functionality works. So now the dev team will then decide a technical approach and we will then write the code. And that's it. This process typically happens before the sprint. A sprint is um, a duration of time, like a period of time where, you know, we set aside for our tasks, um, new features, or maybe just old bugs that needs to be taken care of. So yeah, this happens before each sprint. We typically have a ticket grooming session where we talk about the tasks and the feasibility and the technical approach that we're going to take. Some days in the week for me include more coding um, because then we might just have one meeting, um, which is the daily stand-up, and then just spend the rest of the day, you know, writing code and catching up on our tickets. And some days are more like there's so many meetings that, you know, we have to kind of liaise with the product manager, the designer. Some days include more meetings, less coding, and some days include more coding, less meetings. Like now I'm thinking about it, a lot of my friends and family ask me exactly what I do. And I just feel like I always articulate my answer differently. You know, I, I never have one standard answer. So like, you know, maybe I'll just send this video anytime anybody asks me like, what do you do as a software engineer? I'll just send this video. I think that's an easy way to go. I remember when I decided, you know, I wasn't going to go to med school and then I was going to start learning how to code. My parents at the time, they were always like, what are you doing? Like, what are you learning? You know, just explain so that we can understand and stuff like that. And mind you, like my parents are the most supportive people, honestly. They just wanted to understand what I was doing. And I had a, I found it so hard to articulate what I was doing per se. So what I would always do is like send a link and be like, you know what, this is what I worked on. This is a new project. And I built that. That's what I, that was the only way I could just basically show what I was spending my time on. If you come from, because if you come from, like an African home, like if you grew up in an African home, you'd realize that it was, it's just harder. African parents, they understand doctor, lawyer, engineer. So, well, well I guess programming falls on that top three engineering, you know? So it's like, at least increased its rating a little bit. But you know, typical African parents just understand those. And, you know, outside of that, you have to kind of explain what you do and explain the details of things. Yeah, but it's fine. I think now things are starting to change. I think everyone is starting to understand that like the future is tech, that a lot of people are in these roles and there are a lot of roles like this coming up in the market as well. So yeah, let's go into the difference between a software engineer and a software developer. So what is the difference between a software engineer and a software developer? Like honestly, for me, I found that I was wondering the same thing. I was always like, what is the difference? Like, what do I write on my LinkedIn? Do I write software engineer? Do I write software developer? Like, cause yeah, you see some job ads that say software developer and some will say software engineer, but I found that there's really no difference between the two. You know? And I was reading something somewhere that said that software engineers follow some certain engineering principles that, you know, I'm thinking, ah, nah, I don't think that's it, you know? Honestly, they are both used interchangeably. You can use either one. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thank you guys for watching to the end. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification so you get an alert every time I post a new video. Thank you for chatting with me. Thank you, you in particular watching. Thank you for staying to the end and thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed me on your screen. I will see you in another video. Check, 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 check.